When a user visits our app, they'll need to log in on our splash page to be taken to the app itself. So in order to log in our users, we're going to use a social login. We'll use a service called Google OAuth, which will allow users to be authenticated in our app by providing their Google credentials. So in order to use OAuth as our auth service, we'll need to go to the Google developer website and grab a client ID to use OAuth. So we'll head to console.developers.google.com and we'll need to sign in using our Google credentials. And from there, we'll be taken to the API and services dashboard where up at the top in the select a project dropdown in the window that pops up, we'll select new project. For this new project, our project name will be Geopins. Then we'll hit Create. And once that's set up, we'll select Enable APIs and Services. We'll need to search for the Google Plus API. So once that's returned, we'll select it and then hit Enable. And in order to use the Google Plus API, we'll need to select Create Credentials. So first we'll be asked which API we're using. We'll select the Google Plus API. Then it'll want to know where are we going to call the API from. We'll be authenticating our users from our React app, so we'll select Web Browser. And then for what data we'll be accessing, we're going to be getting users data belonging to Google users with their permission. So then we'll select what credentials do I need. So now we'll be able to create an OAuth 2.0 client ID. We can specify a name to identify this client ID that we're creating, but I'll leave it at the default of web client one. Then we need to provide an authorized JavaScript origin. This is because we're going to be making authorization requests from our browser from our React application. So we need to tell Google OAuth what the origin URI of our client application is. And this is for security purposes to be able to authenticate our users from our React application and from nowhere else. So we'll provide our JavaScript origin for now as, as HTTP localhost 3000. And there's also a section for authorized redirect URIs. However, this is for when we're making requests from a web server, not the browser. And now we can select Create OAuth Client ID. And then we can configure the OAuth 2.0 consent screen. This consent screen is basically going to tell any user that's logging in with the help of Google, it's going to tell them what they're going to need to provide namely their Google credentials, and in return, what our application is going to have access to. And in our case, it's going to be very simple, basically just their email name and picture that they have associated with their Google account. We can configure this consent screen a bit. We can display what product name we want to show to our users. For example, the name of the application, Geopins, and there's some more customization options and these are all optional, such as the homepage URL, the logo of the site or product, etc. Then we'll hit continue. And after providing all of that info, we'll be given our client ID. And we can either copy this URL here or we can download it as a JSON file. Note that once we're done with this step, you can always find your client ID in this credentials tab of your dashboard. We'll be using this client ID on both the client and the server. So for now, let's copy this value and head back to our project. And we'll navigate to our .env file. And we'll create an entry called our OAuth underscore client underscore ID and set it equal to what we copied. And once that's done, we'll move on to how we're going to authenticate users from our React client.